Welcome to another Red Dice Diaries video, and it's another in my series of gaming bugbears, which is a little series where I talk about things which I find particularly irksome or that have caused problems for me in the past during roleplay games. And this week, I'm talking about monsters that are played far more stupidly than they should be. What do I mean by this? Well, we've all been in that sort of game where you're playing in D&D or whatever system it may be and you head into a combat and the monsters just walk towards you like this waving their weapons about waiting for you to kill them they make no attempt to use any sort of tactics whether combat or otherwise they just literally march forward into the grinder where the no doubt eager and all too willing player characters chop them down and deal with them in a few fell swoops now Occasionally, this isn't a problem if you're doing it for effect. However, in the majority of situations, if you were a monster, if I was a monster, you certainly wouldn't, when confronted with a group of pipe-wielding player characters, <coughs> excuse me, no doubt bristling with magic weapons, plate armor, etc., etc., you certainly wouldn't charge headlong into that shit. That's just a recipe to get yourselves killed why would you do that any monster is going to have just as much value on its own life as you place on yours now often this tends to be the result of a gm started an encounter too high or and didn't realize how lethal it was going to be and so they decide that they're going to have to pull it and they just play the monsters as a lot dumber than they should do now, the only problem with doing this is it's really, really obvious when it's happening. A far better way, I've found, is to always go into a combat ha having the mindset that this may go wrong and having a couple of little sort of ways out planned, even if it's just in your head, that you can bring in should that happen rather than just sort of dumbing down the monsters. So there you have it. What I'd advise is don't dumb down your monsters. Give your monsters some thought to the tactics they might use. Play them as though they're individuals who value their own survival. Unless, of course, they're a monster who doesn't have the intelligence or is acting on instinct and literally would just throw themselves at the player characters. But even just giving a few moments thought to some sort of tactics, even if that's just... Some goblins with crossbows ducking behind some crates for cover occasionally or or a few little bits and pieces like that can add a lot more verisimilitude and realism to your encounters. And that can be a great thing since it draws the players in more, keeps them immersed in the game and it also makes them think a little bit more about their own tactics and avoid, should you ultimately stat an encounter, that's too hard for your player characters avoid just dumbing down your monsters to compensate think of a few little ways out that you can use beforehand and if worse comes to the worst let the players get taken out of the fight that doesn't necessarily mean they have to die maybe they're captured by the monsters and sold as slaves or maybe they're taken away for devouring later whatever it is that's far better than just having these zombie like monsters stumble forwards into the waiting weapons of the player characters so that's my thoughts on monsters being played far more stupidly than they should be if you've enjoyed this video please leave a comment below also please click on subscribe and like this video and until i see you in the next one i look forward to reading what you write thanks very much for watching